so hey guys this is it's me TT be more twin flame the lights really dim I don't know it's just my phone uh, it might be dying for all I fucking know I, I all my storage was full I don't understand that shit I just deleted just about everything on my damn phone so but I got my storage back so who fucking cares I don't need to save all that shit anyway so here I am sharing my life with you guys but this is about twin flames so I'm laying in bed oh I have a fan on air conditioner on I like being cold <laughs> so here it goes um the lighting's here I'll show you guys just because I don't know this is my little bed see I got pillows all around me I'm buried in pillows that's that's my leg is under here like here is like I have anyway you probably can't tell but I'm buried I have 200 pillows on my bed <clears throat> and see there's the fan blowing on me Here's my light. Got some. Got some. Got some. Uh, there's my sloth. All right. Um. See, it's just dim. I'm gonna. I need a light behind me over here. So I'm just about buried in my bed. <laughs> this is how. I wish I could show you, I wish I could really show you guys other than, you know, that I am really in pillows, completely submerged, like, like a, um, ball, you know, what the hell is that, you know, like a ball gym, you know what I mean? So, but that's the way I like it. That's what I, I've been spending. I've spent two years or more building this bed, buying pillows all the time. I have every kind of pillow in here. Hello Kitty, um, body pillows, little tiny. I got, I got, I got 50 of these easy. Easy. Oh, I got more than 50 of these actually. These are these little, um, what the hell are these? five below pillows but they bust I sell them sometimes when I feel like it it busted but anyway um, it always busts because they're cheap little things but they're the fabric on them is so freaking soft oh so here's my twin flame shirt that I like to sleep with let's get under the covers Ugh. Um, yeah, I do. I like to sleep with him. Um, I hope someday he'll want to sleep with me and we'll be all cuddled up every night just like this. Like, this is a real body of him. And we could just be like... <sighs> yes. I mean, that's my life goal right there. That's it. That is. Ah. <sighs> Just to have my twin flame, just have a man that I love, that loves me in the same way that I love him, and just wants to just cuddle all up next to blankets and pillow under the blanket next to pillows, and just be a cloud together. So um, anyway. <sighs> So, how are you guys doing? What's going on with your twin flame? I don't really know what's going on with my life. I just know that I want to empower others. I want to love myself. Show the world my life. And empower others. I like to do energy work. But that's what life is. But anyway, so my twin flame called me um, to, oh no, he didn't call me today. It's Sunday? Yeah. 
So, um, and I didn't know if I, anyway, I don't know how to explain this. How do I put, I have a hard time putting things to words because I get stuff right here and then I can't put it to words. But my twin flame and I, it's like we were booty. We were each other's booty call, right? God, he did, he did my tattoos and look how great those hearts are. They are fucking beautiful. Ugh. I need more of this. These red and blue. It's just so beautiful. Mm. That was my idea. Well, it was his idea and my idea. We create beauty together. I would love to have his kids. Damn it. I need to. I don't care that... I mean, I do care that I'm 54. But I would love to have his kids. I want to live forever. Um, yeah, I got to get back to... I've been too into the horrible stuff that's going on in the world. I've been too much. I got to keep the fire lit. Um, I don't know. Anyway, I don't, I, I don't want limits in my life. I deserve everything I want. And you do too. But only you can decide if you're going to believe for those things or not. I'm just a regular person that was abused and beat up and bullied and hated herself. And, you know, I'm just a regular, I'm a regular freaking person. So, in TikTok, I'm nobody. I don't feel like I'm anybody. But I have to stop being intimidated. I want to always feel good about myself. I matter and I am somebody and I am special and I am beautiful and I deserve respect and I deserve good and I deserve attention and I deserve to help people and I deserve to be an influencer. That's what I want to be. I deserve it because I am good. My, my heart is pure. So I went on TikTok tonight. I was went to bed. I've been trying to go to bed early because I have a morning ride. And I have an appointment and then after that and then I have so I have several things going on tomorrow. And I'd like to have sleep and I'd like to get up and do that ride. But I'm used to being up till like six, seven, eight o'clock in the morning. So I anyway, I'm trying to go to sleep, but I laid here and I looked on TikTok and I saw that I had live access. I got so freaking excited. It was gone within five minutes. Well, maybe ten. I, I, I was half scared to go do live anyway. It doesn't matter. It's, and I did. I just did it. My cat was getting colors, was getting into my makeup drawer and it was cute as hell. So I thought, I'm laying in bed, but I, I don't know. I'm innocent. I didn't want lust. I don't... Anyway, some guy got on there. It was only creepy dudes on there. I, I guess that's all that's trolling right now or whatever. And I didn't know what to say or do or anything. And then I, start, I just started reading comments. And I just started being, like, nice and open and relaxing a little bit. And, and this guy said, say balls. And I, if you say balls, I'll get you 309 roses. And he kept his word. He did give me the roses. But maybe he didn't mean to. But why would he want me to say balls? Because he knew that I was. it would end my live, I guess. Because I my live got terminated for, inappropriate, for sexual content and nudity. Um, I mean, as I was moving around, I did move around on my my bed and I was trying to show everybody my bed because I have an extraordinary bed it's it's beautiful it's wonderful it's amazing but I'm innocent and I'm pure you know what I mean so here it was I used to be a sex worker I used to I was sexually abused I let men treat me like garbage I hated myself and men treated me so fucking bad I mean so fucking bad they didn't, I mean, they didn't put a knife to me. They didn't cut me. They didn't beat me. But they 
they fucking treated me like I was a piece of shit. They fucking, um, and I would, they would take the money that they gave, they would, they would steal from me. Shit men, okay? Um, anyway, I, it's hard to even talk about it, but I know that it's not who I am now. And that's amazing. How can I be me? How can I be the person I am now? How did that happen? That is, a, that is an amazing transformation. I'm serious. Go back to the beginning of my videos. I don't even know if, if I even... But when I met my twin flame, my current, I've had three. And I don't give a fuck what anybody says that you only get one or whatever the fuck. I've had three. But I've re I heard that this one is my forever one. So we'll see. It hasn't been easy. I mean, it's never easy. Life isn't fucking easy. So get the fuck over it. So this is my, um, and, and that's how we met. He was my client. Yep. Yep. It sucks. Don't fucking do it. But if you do it, don't hate yourself for doing it. And if you know people that do it, don't hate on them. Because that nobody deserves hate, nobody deserves disrespect, nobody deserves judgment and shame and guilt and fear and all that bullshit. Because it's bad enough. You 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 get treated like shit. Well, I don't know. It wasn't glamorous for me. If somebody says it's glamorous, good for them. Whatever, live and let live. Um, but I am so glad that I have healed, and now I don't want anything to do. I, and then there's that's not just words. That's real. I don't want anything to do with lust. I don't want guys lusting over me. I don't want this inappropriate flirting. It's gross to me. I hate it. It makes me feel gross. Ugh. Yuck. Like, I want to be seen as a human being. I want my soul to be seen and respected. I want kindness. I want... You know what I mean? I don't want any weird, inappropriate. So that is not me at all. And uh, and I, but I'm not sure how to handle it. Like, I'm pretty innocent now, and that's a beautiful thing because my innocence was ripped away from me when I was a child. So just the, so I want to help children. I want to help women. I want to help the world. I and I am going to. Um, by being me. I have special gifts. Um, so that's going to happen. <laughs> it is happening. Um, I love you guys. If there's, if, if even if there's one person that's going to watch this, I love you. I love you. You don't know how hard my life has been. You don't know how hard I've worked. To become this person. I've worked really hard and I've endured a lot of pain. So I'm going to try to explain what happened between me and my twin flame. I feel like we've gone from being sex. Like I just feel that. I feel like he's he's given me what I've needed. No we're not in a, a boyfriend girlfriend relationship. We're not we're not in that it's just a feeling. It's just something. He he texted me tonight and said, if you're free, if you have the time and you want to, if you have the time, something like that, if you have the time and you want to, you can come over tomorrow at 8 o'clock or something. And I said, okay. But it's so, I just can feel it. I can, I can feel it in that text that I'm not just sexed in. I know it. It's, I'm, I'm starting to believe it. I can feel his love. <laughs> Do you understand how hard that is? Do you understand how hard that is for somebody? That's only had pain from men. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm still alive. 
I'm that's not even kidding. That's not even an exaggeration. Uh, I've got to tell my story. I've got to write books. I've got to tell my story. I mean, there's people though I've heard that have that have been trafficked and so we are really resilient human beings are really resilient but see the worst part of me being sexually abused as a kid is I couldn't tell I never told anybody I couldn't tell my mom or my grandmother or my dad or my sister nobody was safe for me to tell So, even though I'm 54 years old, there's this little girl in me that hasn't, hasn't been in this world. She hasn't known this world. She disappeared. She disappeared. She disappeared. A long, 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 long time ago. So, anyway, I'm going to go see my twin flame tomorrow. And I feel beautiful. I do. <laughs> and I feel special. And I know that he loves me. I want, I know he wants a son. I know he does. I know he does. And um, I want to be able to give that to him even though I'm old. I want miracles in my life. I always say my youth is renewed. I, I Here's my Bible right here. And I don't usually have it on top of my bed because I haven't read it in a while. Um, but I do love my Bible. And I do like Jesus but I'm not religious I'm spiritual so I believe in abortion rights I believe in LGBTQ plus community I believe in you know equal rights and and you know I all black lives matter I mean not all but black lives matters and missing and and murdered indigenous women and children you know, I stand for all of them. And I'm trying to learn what not to do because people are getting really upset. Like, I love Tupac. I connect with Tupac. But the black community is mad at white women for using Tupac. Um, song. And, um, that's a shame to me, but... I understand it belongs to black people. I hope one day, if I was an artist, I would want to reach all people. And I feel like Tupac would like it would be happy that white women hear his song and want it to use it for their, you know. But I, I don't want to. I, I love the black community so much. I don't want to upset them. So if that's what they say, that's what they say. But I'm still going to listen to Tupac. Tupac's still my friend. So it doesn't matter your color of your skin. It doesn't. It's your culture. But people can can go beyond their culture. So, um, it's a crazy world and I, I don't want to upset anybody, but I don't want my freedom taken away and my choices and the things that I like because I'm white. So I don't want that taken. I, I don't want that for anybody. <sighs> I'm so grateful to be here. I'm so grateful that I am who I am. I just want to help other people. I can't wait for that day. When but I also want want attention. I wanna I wanna shine. I want people to see me. 
I've hidden my whole life. I've hit because of fear and because of shame. And I don't want to do that anymore. Anyway, I'm tired. I want to go to bed. So thanks for listening to me. I hope you guys are okay. And know that you guys are amazing. And know that anything is possible in your life. Anything. But please love. Please love and give freedom. Be patient. Be kind. Be loving. Be generous.